Welcome back to another preseason football. It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts oh. and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Jags and the Falcons, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. See if the backups can't put on a show again. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. But tonight, we've got a preseason matchup, as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows that the NFL does, and you see the coaches in preseason after a loss jumping all over their guys. So I learned one valuable lesson. Wins and losses count no matter what time of year it is. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. And you want to talk about enormous expectations being placed on a quarterback. How about what Trevor Lawrence faced coming out of college? But the good thing for him, he's used to it. He had the same type of expectations leaving high school and going to Clemson. They always expect him to be a franchise savior, whatever team he joins. And to his credit, he shouldered those expectations and doing everything in his power to follow through. So, and he goes out of bounds just shy of the Evan Ingram's up to an X factor. 19 yards right off Holy the bat shit. and a quick first down. It's a nice zone breaker right there. Take the tight end, move him out to the slot then have him run a corner route versus the zone coverage, which means he's going to be behind the, the, the shallow coverage and ahead of the deep coverage, put the ball right on it. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From midfield now, Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. <laughs> And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 36. ETN up the middle. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. On the counter, ETN, nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Hey. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he sacked for a loss of 12. So on fourth down, here's Logan Cook to punt for Jacksonville. He'll field this at the five. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of them. Orchestrating the offense will be their versatile quarterback, the Hawaii native Oregon Duck product. Of course, that's Marcus Mariota. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yardage with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Here's second and three. Come on, and he stopped immediately there. He just got that man hurt. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Third and short yardage, Mariota. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most
most important down in football, and there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big-time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. So on, after Michael the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Ready? Here's the ex-Florida Gator, LaMichael P. Ryan. Bulldozes <laughs> past him. And down he goes, but he takes it up to so the four. damn good. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line, not near enough to keep the drive alive. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And we can pull it off here. And a fake here, direct snap to the up man. A little trickery there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And it'll be a turnover on downs. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. From the 46, here's second and nine. Now Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll send Kirk in motion right. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff oh, up the shit. middle. Shit. Fuck that all the way up. Touchdown, Jaguars! Whoops. Travis Etienne, 30 yards. And the Jaguars will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, we've said it many times. He is always a threat to go the distance anytime he's got the ball in his hands. And on this occasion, he did just that. Well, he's definitely the guy that makes this offense go. And when you're an RB1, running back one, you've got to be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's going to be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity and that opening, you take full advantage. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Oh, good look at the return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Falcons. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blue when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Now comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And Frank was just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And now some motion before the snap. Okay. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. <sighs> so pin that one on the rookie right tackle. Remember those days when the right side was simply the run blocking side? Now you're dealing with some of the better pass rushers in the league. It'll make you a little jittery. In motion right is Ridley. On second down, ETN once more. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting. Oh, a heavy rush, and down he goes. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Taken from just outside the 30. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Ready. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Now during that run, Why the fuck is he here? In here. Oh, oh my one of those God. Big blockers in some discomfort. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. There's two linemen down. So we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Mariota now on second down. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Mariota from the gun on third down. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Foya Sade Aluikin drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Taken in at the 22. A seven yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up, first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught on the left side by Kerr. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Now a second and six. These two teams all tied after one. The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Hey, hey, hey. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 62 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Lawrence going to fire it out wide complete. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. They go play action with Lawrence. Open man is Kirk complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 19 yards here on the catch and run. Well, well, well. If you're talking, I can't hear you. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just spaced, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now, off the bootleg. A short throw to Ingram. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. And that's good for a gain of six. 
Hola. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Has that oh. motherfucker not said anything yet about transfer? Uh uh. He sure ain't. Boy is Spanish. Not. Was Evan Ingram an X Factor last year? No. Well, he is now. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> He's a beast. Ain't he? Yeah, it's only caught one or two balls. Two balls. But. He is scary knowing the type of tight end he is for him to be X factored. Yep, that's what I was thinking. They saw that I beat him in the playoffs and they're like, hmm. What can we do to fuck this entire league? Let's bump it up a notch. Let me get to my boy P. Ryan. Where's he at? Dude, Spanish, like written Spanish to me just looks like fucked up English. Like it just looks like fucking <laughs> English words with like, I, I like understand like a couple letters, but it just looks like they just throw other letters in it. Yeah. And Dude, uh, fucking P. Ryan is mm -hmm. going off. Really? Yeah, three carries, 35 yards. <laughs> yes, sir. Ought to make him a goddamn 99. <laughs> just to honor him, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do that his last year. <laughs> and then sign him. Of uh, course you are. Of course you are. Oh, my God, dude. He's splitting tackles, slipping through shit. I'm just going to... I'm going to keep running him until they stop him or he dies. One of the two. <laughs> Until they stop him or he dies. I decided to pull him right after I said that because he was getting tired. But he's back in now, baby. All it takes is one playoff and he's ready to roll again. The P. Ryan way. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, got tackled for one yard that time. He ain't been tackled for a loss yet. Don't say that shit, man. You know it's about to happen. No, because that's I'm our fucking play right here. Him and TT are like our biggest success stories ever. And then your fucking like, seventh round, Mr. Irrelevant. Like his first carry, he took it 15 yards and ran a motherfucker over. And I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> he's still good. <laughs> that's still the Michael I know and love. Hell yeah. Oh, Robbie Oots, you piece of shit. What'd he do? Would've been a first down if it wasn't for his shit-ass blocking on that play. So now it's fourth and two, but it told me to go for it, so now I'm going to give it to Robbie, and hopefully nobody blocks for him. He can get blown the fuck up and get a little bit of his own medicine. Oh, never mind. He rushed for four yards. Robbie the Mule. Let's see what he can do on one of my bread and butter plays here. La Salle. La Salle. No, La Salle. 
Last saddle. Last saddle. What does that mean? Uh, the room. Oh, P. Ryan just got hurt. <laughs> no. Well, he must be a concussion. They got him, like, holding his arms out and doing all kinds of hand motions on the sidelines. Really? Yeah. What the hell? Pretty cool. I ain't seen that before. Quinshawn Judkins, touchdown. Uh, tie game. I had a, one of my rookies return to kick for a touchdown earlier. That's a shoulder strain. He was working on his shoulder movements. Uh. La Salle. La Salle. If you have any Spanish followers that don't speak English, they're going to wonder why we just keep saying the room. <laughs> I'm trying to do Spanish homework. Jags out of run it every time on my second string defense. Jesus. ETN's got 10 carries, 88 yards, and two touchdowns. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess it really don't matter because fucking Trevor Lawrence is 8 for 8 for 91 yards. They can do whatever they want on these bums. But it's tied up, so it don't matter. Ah. Cause it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> what are you forgetting how to say uh, it? Spell no, it? Like, what are you I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to get fucking. Oh. I'm trying to get Chat GPT to fucking help a motherfucker out. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, I hate this fucking homework. <sighs> what? La Naranca. La Naranca. That Marcus Mariota in a two minute drill, huh? What can you do here, Marcus? Oh, okay, cool. 55 seconds and two timeouts. What you got in left in the tank, Marcus? What you got in the tank, Marcus? Be a man, Marcus! I ain't got much, coach. Just the shit you left for. Preseason two minute drills. Dun, 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 dun. Running for my life. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I got a poo poo <laughs> and the papaya. <laughs> no, papaya juice. Go, Marcus.
Man, I got tomorrow off too. Why? Because they don't want the kids to have to sit at the cold bus stops. Oh my god. And Bunch then be on the. Hey man, I ain't fucking complaining. I'm just saying, like, back in my day. Oh, fuck your day. <laughs> That pina. You know what that is? <clears throat> I don't remember. It sounds Pineapple. familiar. Pineapple. Ooh. That sounded <laughs> sick. <My sexy>. <laughs> the sugar. Uh, that's why. Sugar. Yep. Like it, get it. Oh, man. Come on, Peace. Xavier. You could have had that one. We're going to run a Hail Mary right here. El Ajocar. <laughs> oh, Marcus Mariota's Hail Mary attempt just then went 25 yards. La Fresa. The Strawberry. Thank God for Chat GPT, everybody. La Lechuga. What are you chugging? It means the lettuce. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be a banana. Yep. See, I'm learning. Tote that thing, LaMichael. El Vino Tinto. El Pino. No. El Vino Tinto. It's a wine. It's red wine. Strawberry wine. Strawberry wine. See what number 40 Peyton Thorne's got in his bag this evening. El what do you think man, that one is? Man, man, El cover Pepino? two, man. That's not good. Uh, something pepper, man. Something pepper. Yep. The cucumber. <laughs> Back to our favorite. Jam Miller. And pick six. No, no, made a tackle. Oh, Abrams Drain just picked me off. I don't. Who? Oh, Spanish Fort Boy just picked me off. Oh, really? Yep, and touchdown, Jaguars. La Sal. I went and signed me a uh, a mentor corner because that's what Christian Gonzalez wanted. If not, he wasn't going to be happy to be in ATL. Yeah. He's not going to be happy anywhere, that motherfucker. He wanted a mentor, no income tax, and scheme are the most important things to him. He likes to scheme. He hates that we have no income tax, and he was pissed that we didn't have a mentor. What a bitch. Yeah, fucking cunt. I don't know what... Is it the salt? In fact, you said that was a... Uh, no, oh, it's not. No, this is the first one. Oh, the room. No, but this isn't... That's what La Salle means, but I think it's saying La Salle, like the salt. 
I don't know. I'm not talking Spanish. Oh, I got it. Look at me. Goddamn genius. No, no, I'm not taking Spanish. <laughs> well, I'm not. So fuck you, forever. Fuck me forever. Yeah. Asshole. Jesse was right. <laughs> You're right. Maybe I should just off myself. Mm. That's a little dramatic, but. Agreed. Well, I was just kind of keeping up with the the narrative. I showed Angel all that shit. She hates him. She's like, isn't that just a video game? And I was like, yeah. And then she's like, why is he threatening you? I thought y'all were like best friends. I was like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's just, she's like, he's got something going on. I was like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe so. He will not fucking talk to me about hey, it. Hey, user strip fumble by DeMarco Hellams. Nice. Redeeming yourself, young buck, after last week. He actually week. has had a decent game. He had a tackle for loss earlier. He's been closing the gap pretty quick. And, uh, I don't know, I'm just been fairly impressed with him this week. Peyton Thorne on the end, playing the worst game of his life. Last year, I was like, this guy right here, he's got a future in the league. Who is that? Peyton Thorne. And now he's one for six with negative one passing yards and an interception. So he's back to his Auburn days right now. <sighs> El Pacino. No, <laughs> El Cachillo. Al Cachino. Pacino. La Cuchara. Cooch. <laughs> Keyword there. Excuse me. What? I said be getta, don't you know? Oh. L bone. No, give L -bone. me that L bone. <laughs> no, I'm not carrying 90 players on my roster. Why not, brother? Madden's bullshit. I'm honestly glad I'm not carrying 90. That'll make everything more difficult. No, you only have to carry 75. I know, but it's saying in real life they carry 90, and the announcers are talking about the 90. Oh, yeah. 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 El Casson. Oh, great. Old DeBoer is putting together a decent little staff, ain't he? Oh, dude, yes. Uh, that's what I was telling Hunter. This might be our best staff for like five years. Wouldn't you say? I mean, I'm not going to say 100% yes, but, but it has that potential. Yeah. Yep. I think Saban's got a lot to do with it, too. Yeah. He probably gave him a list of like, hey, man. Here's a list of guys that I've looked into. Here's a list that we've looked into. Um, <coughs> also, obviously, if you have anybody, go get them motherfuckers. You know? Because he had no ties to the guy from uh, from Buffalo. Is that Jam Miller? Jam Miller? Jam Miller touchdown? I'll repeat. Oh, you fuck. 
it does. Servo la uh, Camila Tony Grimes with a um, sack, baby. Um, they bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. Not a great start to this drive. You had the sack, now the full start. I mean, it doesn't take much to either read lips or just imagine what the head coach is saying right now. Get your head in the game, guys. Mm. Why the fuck is he on the field? Grady Jerry just got hurt. Oh no. Oh, Maybe it's a okay. rush. We backfield with uh, Arnold and Katie. Fucking morons. Then I had a, I had a backup up the lineman get hurt earlier. Chris Lindstrom come in for him and got hurt. Course. That's why I always keep extra, extra in the preseason. Well, I got heavy extras at running back, receiver, and corner. Not at. I saw that. Not at a uh, O line. Well, that sounds like a fucking your fault. Coaching decision. No. Yeah. Yeah. GM's decision. Well, I mean, hey, whoever you want to blame it on, it ain't me. So what do we need now, a linebacker coach at Bama? Uh, fuck, I don't know. Ooh, Jam Miller, big run. 58 yards, touchdown. Nice. <laughs> Sierra Wright pick down at the four yard line. The rookies are showing out. Nice. Bory. Seventh round Bory. draft pick, baby. I'm trying to throw a fade ball to. He oh, won't. good lad. Never mind. I threw it. I did throw it. But Peyton mm -hmm. Thorne's hot garbage, so. God damn it, Jedrick Wills just got hurt. Why is he in? Like, you don't have enough backups. I have plenty of backups. That line? Enough. Maybe a guy got hurt in practice? I don't fucking know. I don't want to talk about it. Just shut your fucking mouth. Yeah, okay. Go suck a dick. I'm good. I was Thanks, trying sir. to be nice. Nope. <laughs> we'll get a 
Suck a small dick. I used the napkin to clean myself. Really? Cool. I use the cup to drink coffee or tea. Fuck J.J. McCarthy was almost my quarterback. He was. <laughs> yeah, but he's playing mid right now for the Jaguars. Extremely mid. Weak sauce, man. Weak sauce. Oh, 
shit. I have 43 passing yards. I'm winning 35 to 27. Wow. 215 rushing. God, Jam Miller just murdered a man. God, he just run another one over. Tresman Marshall, he ran Tresman Marshall over. From Bama? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like how people in the media are acting like everybody from Bama has transferred. Mm hmm. Well, for the most part, the ones that transferred are probably ones that were going to leave anyway. Other than maybe Bond. Bond said it was 100%, but that happened so fast, it makes you wonder. Yeah, right. It, do, it feels like to me that he was thinking about doing it anyway because of the quarterback situation. Mm -hmm. But I could be wrong. You know what Jim I mean? Miller just mossed a man. Got down to the one. And LaDamian Webb. LaDamian tackled at the one. Boom. Are you putting different ones in? They're all kind of rotating on their own right now. Jam Miller just run through two motherfuckers for a rushing touchdown. They blitzed into his face, hit him in the backfield. He ran through both of them. Hell yeah. He's impressing so far. Good. He's got three rushing touchdowns. And he fucking went up on somebody's head and bossed their ass and got tackled at the one yard line. <laughs> Love to see it, honestly. I want all the Bama boys to do good. Forty-two to twenty-seven. You're winning. Mm -hmm. Seven thirty left. Oh, shit. JJ McCarthy ran a read option on me, and we hit sticked him and murdered him. He fumbled. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Fuck him up, dude. Listen to some old Aldine, or is that the? the no, I've been 
Yeah, I've been listening to just old school, like chill rock all day. You ever do that? Like just go down and wormholes of time periods of music? Uh, somewhat. I've been heavy on some old, uh, I don't know what, I guess you call it rock. I got some, just added some red hot chili peppers today. Hell yeah. They're fucking awesome. Jan Miller, fourth touchdown of the game. Well, he earned a roster spot. I think it's his fourth, third or fourth. But he also had a big catch and run on this one too, this drive. Yeah, if he don't earn a roster spot, the head coach is a fucking moron. <laughs> I got the other running back that gave and uh, Hunter got me to draft. He had a kick return for a touchdown. Damn. So, so all of them are kind of, and then Michael P. Ryan's there, Quinchon Judkins there, Bijan. That room is going to be hard to. Yeah. Cut through, but JM, I agree, kind of has earned his spot, you know. I would say so. Baby, you're all that I want. Does, uh... Sierra Wright with his second up. pick of the game. Yeah, he covers it. It's my favorite version of it. Yeah. Jam Miller just run through a Josh Allen tackle. Damn. What the fuck? Broke another tackle. <laughs> God. He's a fucking monster. Yeah, I won't back down. There ain't no easy Dude, he's stiff arming motherfuckers. He's. You record it? Yeah. Can't wait to see this. There's been two successful stiff arms, two or three successful trucks. He mossed a, a DB earlier. Hey, there's me another. Of, uh, there's another stiff arm he just had. Hey, it reminds me of Josh Jacobs, dude. I'm gonna keep feeding him, bro. I'm going to get him his fifth rushing touchdown. P. Ryan was doing good, too. Mm -hmm. P. Ryan averaged or ended up with, uh, if I don't give him the ball again, 10 carries for 56 yards. They're 5.6 yards a carry. Wow. Maybe you should give him the ball, too. Like as, get him a touchdown or something. But I'd keep Jam for sure since he's so fucking young. How old is he? I think he's 21. God damn it, this fucking Nazi ass Spanish homework. Who? Jam. He had a big run on third and third and goal, but it was like third and nine, got it all the way to the wall. What's that man's stamina? A hundred? 
I guess. <laughs> Bro, he's choking this motherfucker. I haven't seen him breathing heavy yet. Huh. Fuck you! <laughs> I can talk to me like that, goddammit. Whoever thought a George would learn Spanish? Are you kidding me? <laughs> my, my, my family barely knew English. <laughs> Six to twenty-seven final. Jesus Christ! Are you playing starters at all? Mm, like, I had some that like randomly came in, and then I had the first quarter. I had my starting D line and safeties playing, or maybe right. just James Williams, and then, and I didn't play Grady Jarrett, so it was really my second, my third D tackle, and then uh, my receivers. But hell, I only had Peyton Thorne in it with 93 passing yards and Mario in it with 34. So it wasn't like I was just feeding them motherfuckers. There was only one passing touchdown thrown by me. Jim Miller finished with 20 attempts, 141 yards, five touchdowns, seven yards of carry, seven broken tackles, 43 yards after contact, along with 58. P. Ryan, 10 for 56, a broken tackle. Uh, Queen Sean Jokins, 5 for 20. Peyton Thorne, 4 for 43. Mariota, 4 for 33. Jaquavius Marks, 1 for negative 4. LaDamian Webb, 1 for none. Robbie Utes, 1 for 4. Le'Veon Moss, 1 for none. Jam Miller, 3 receptions, 61 yards. Tyler Booker plays for the Baby, United you're so all that I want. Yeah, we didn't give up a sack all game either. Damn, son. Y'all was out here fucking smacking motherfuckers around. Yeah. Jamon Tapp had a sack. JT and Tony Grimes had a sack. Sierra Wright had two picks. Hell of a game, folks. Poo.